Hello and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you a Belgian dish called Carponade Flamande. It's braised veal in Belgian beer. An amazing dish. We cook it in our Romer Topf clay cooker and we will show you how we do. First of all, we have cut up our veal into cubes that are not too small because we do want them to have a bit of texture after braising. So don't make them too small, but give them a certain size. Then we have taken some all-purpose flour. We have salted and peppered it and just mix this well around before adding each piece of veal into the flour. So we're going to coat the veal with the flour, give it this nice surface that will make it brown nicely in the pan later. We have here heated up some oil and just added some cubes of bacon that we can fry nicely golden brown and a little crispy. After that is done, we will take off the bacon and we will then keep some of the fat in the pan and then actually start uh, to brown off the veal in the same pan with the bacon fat, which will give a beautiful taste to the veal. We want to just brown it off so it's nice and golden brown so that the surface of this veal will give a good taste to the entire dish that will brace in the Romer top. So into the Romer top goes all of this beautifully browned veal meat. We do this in batches, so you see here that second batch comes afterwards because the pan was just too small for us to cook all of the veal at once. Then afterwards we use the same pan, again there is a lot of good taste in it, to brown off our onions. And we actually add also uh, a couple of carrots that we have peeled and just cut up into these uh, one centimeter thick uh, pieces. We add in some garlic and we let this stand in the pan and brown off nicely so that we get a lot of flavor out in the onions. So they become sweet, a little soft. The carrots as well will soften up. And then we added, of course, the garlic for this really good and, and spicy taste before then adding in stock. And you could use a veal stock, you could use a vegetable vegetable stock. It's up to you what you prefer. But it's gonna give us some liquid to the pan now and, and a bit more of a sauce that we can braise our meat in. We added in Dijon mustard and dried thyme. We add in cloves that are in powder and then we also add in brown sugar at this stage. We unfortunately did not film it but it's in a very important component of this sauce because it'll make it go sweet. And actually back in the days when they, when they made this dish they put in a little piece of gingerbread. So that sweetness came from the gingerbread. Today brown sugar is completely fine to use. We added the bacon bits just before actually just turning off the heat and then pouring over this entire sauce with the vegetables and everything on top of the meat. And then going in with this beautiful Belgian beer. It's a Bière Brune, uh, but it has to be a good Belgian beer that it can braise in and that'll give a very good taste to the other components of the dish. Pour that over so that it's all covered. Uh, add some bay leaves, then you can put on the lid uh, on this Romer top to cook it in the oven for three hours. We put the Romer top into a cold oven and then we turn up the heat to 140 degrees Celsius, that's around 280 degrees Fahrenheit. And what you just saw are some potato fries that we're cooking up on the side to eat with this delicious dish. After those three hours, this is the result that we had. You see a piping hot content that is amazing. We will show you later of course, but what we do here is that we just salt and pepper a little bit. After having tasted we just saw, okay, well we need a little bit more of seasoning. So that's again something you do, you adjust uh, according to your preferences. And what we can see here is that we actually have a really nice sauce, it has a good consistency. The meat is there and we can serve it up in a little bit of a deep plate so that we are able to also gather some of this sauce. And we have these potato wedges on the side that we can dip into the sauce and that'll go really well with the dish. And this was an amazing meal with some very tender veal meats. It just completely falls apart when you chew in it. There were the big pieces of vegetables that give a good touch as well to the dish. And then of course serving it up with uh, potatoes that can just soak up a bit of that delicious and very tasteful sauce. If you feel like trying this uh, slow cooking recipe, please don't hesitate to give us your feedback. We hope you would like this video by giving it a thumbs up and then uh, stay with us for the next video very soon. Bye.